YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here? We are back on the desert here. We're, <laughs> check it out, man. We already got a hell cannon going on here, and this is obviously a manual fire. You can see him controlling it. Let's see. Is it going to be a good solid hit? Oh, yes. Hell cannon did take a bit of a nerfing, but it can still cause some damage if used properly. I honestly, not exactly sure why they nerfed the hell cannon, really. I mean, it's not like you could really bring multiples and you kind of have to manually control them, but I it still did a lot of damage. Ooh. Woo! That hammer of witches. It's getting hammered. The thing is, is the hell cannon is going to be very vulnerable to the cannons if it can land a hit on the... Yeah, see right there where it hit the actual artillery piece? A little bit more of that, and the hell cannon is pretty easy to hit. Sometimes it can blow up faster than you'd think. The hammer which is trying really hard to run away from that shot. Still gonna pick one of them off. So the chaos player very focused on the hammer of witches here. And of course, this general of the empire would be pretty hesitant to land anywhere near Kolek and a bunch of halberds. So the chaos player is trying hard to deal with the empire infantry so that he can turn around and force the empire player into a bad situation. The hammer of witches is gonna remount, and now he's gonna start shooting at the other great cannon. So the empire player is gonna. Use the Hammer of Witches to throw some fire down here. That Chaos player with the manual Hell Cannon. He's not terribly worried about Boris diving down. Oh, but Boris does it. Boris does it. He's going to call his bluff here and see if he's paying attention. <laughs> Boris is going to get out of there just in the nick of time. So the whole Chaos Army wants a piece of him, and they would have gotten it. Yes, they would. This little berm right here is actually really brilliant deployment on the part of the Chaos player because it's going to make it hard for the cannon to hit him. Look at that. I mean, just he, the damage he's doing. That, that that deployment, though, this Chaos player needs, like, a cookie or something for... This is a clever deployment right here. I like it. Protects him from the cannons. He can fire out over it. This is... That was nice. That is, that's a player using that terrain very agile. Oh, but it didn't matter. The cannon got through here anyway, so deployment aside, look at the damage. The hell cannon took a nasty shot there. But Kolek is standing right next to it. He's making sure that Boris, or sorry, the general of the empire does not even think about it. I called him Boris earlier. Boris Light. And the hell cannon's destroyed. So Chaos is going to be forced to attack. And let's check out the rest of their army. So a couple of warriors with great weapons and a marauder with great weapon. Warham with poison. Kolek. Some chosen with great weapons. Warriors. So some serious anti-armor infantry on the part of Chaos. One knight with lances. One warrior with halberd. And then we've got a death sorcerer supporting Mr. The Sun Eater. That's right. He doesn't eat Cheerios for breakfast. He eats the sun. It's kind of strange. Does anybody know where Kolek got his name? Why is he called Kolek's Sun Eater? Here's a lore question that I'll leave to you all today. So the Empire players kind of spread some infantry way up front, obviously hoping to delay the advance of Chaos to let his artillery do some work. And all of his guns managed to survive the, um, the artillery from Chaos 2. It looks like he's firing at Kolek. Kolek's doing a nice dodge job there. Might be a good idea maybe to target the, uh, the... He is targeting the Knights with Lances. And now he's targeting the Death Sorcerer. Kolex chasing the General of the Empire. He gets a nice little quick charge there. Still needs to be careful. There is a Jade Wizard to heal. Silver Bullets. Two Great Swords. Royal Altdorf Griffites. Demigriff Knight with Halberd. And then just a few Spearmen. So, I mean... The Empire player is going to be hard-pressed to kill all the Chaos Infantry here. This is going to be difficult. There's a lot of pretty high-tier Chaos Infantry, so dealing with Kolak, dealing with the Sorcerer, all that stuff aside, that is a lot of infantry for him to take down. Uh, General of the Empire diving at the Warhounds. Not sure you really want to do that. I mean, he could turn around yeah, and lead the Hounds back into the Spears. That's probably what he was up to. Knights with Lances are taking a brutalizing. Then there comes the... Uh, Fate of Buna, and then, but there's a regrowth all at the same time on the uh, the handgun, so that should save them from losing too many unit models. That's going to be pretty critical for the Empire. They need they need those silver bullets. Silver bullets are helping against the Chaos Knights. 
Here comes the Griffites to try and stop Kolek. Kolek will probably retreat back through his infantry. Woo, he put a beating on them quick. Here comes an Earthblood. Boy, do they need it. Holy moly. What in the world did Kolek just, wow. He just KO'd those Demigriff Knights. Was there something I missed in that fight? Was there? I didn't see a fate of Buna. Y'all let me know if you, there's something that happened there. I didn't understand. That was insane. Kolek, I mean, did he just get that much better versus large? Because he absolutely destroyed that Demigriff Knight. Great swords are going to get overwhelmed uh, eventually. Here comes the Warhounds with poison. This is bad for the Empire. This is very bad. Those silver bullets are a very expensive, very helpful unit in this case. And to get run down by... Warhounds with poison is just going to be a painful loss, but I mean, he doesn't really have much to stop this at the moment. Comes another Earthblood. Demigriff Knights still dealing a lot of damage. There's some terror here because is that from the, uh, it's got to be from the Empire or the General of the Empire because the Griffites got destroyed. Kolek gets routed. This is fortuitous for the Empire. Are they going to be able to take him off the battlefield, though? Yeah, it looks like the general and the Griffites are going to chase him. They probably need to. Somehow, the silver bullets survived with the help of the... They've still got a fair number of their unit models. The artillery's gone. A few spearmen have regrouped, and Chaos is getting spread out. Kolek comes back from routing. He's going to try and avoid these guys, because they weren't right on his tail. The Death Sorcerer comes back, too. If he gets a Buna off or something, it's going to be devastating for the Empire. Oh, and the Warhounds come back from routing to finish the job. See if the Silver Bullets, yeah, they're going to lose some more men. Warhounds may get defeated. Yeah, they get defeated. The Jade Wizard. Kolek gets away because of the Knights with Lances, but for how long? A couple of the Demigriff Knights... Back here facing him. Ooh, that is a fate of Buna. So that Death Sorcerer comes back strong with a clutch fate of Buna there. That, that's going to hurt. But it doesn't look like Kolek's going to survive this. And the fate of Buna is going to actually leave a fair number of these alive. Unless it gets him at the very... No. So 17 Demigriff Knights survived it. I thought that was going to do a lot more damage. So... The Empire player again with a very fortuitous break in, in luck there. Warhounds with poison keep dying to the Jade Wizard repeatedly. Silver bullets are routing. There's hardly any left, so they, I'm not sure how much of a role they can play. But now you got a few great swords left that can do a little bit of fighting. You got some Griffites, and Kolek is dead. And for whatever reason, Chaos leadership is not very good. Not very good at all. So let's see what happens. The uh, the wizard definitely needs to stay alive, but here comes the uh, death sorcerer. What the? Is there rocks falling off the cliffs? Did you all see that? Am I crazy? Empire actually won one of the fights here. Of course, it was against marauders with great weapons. Great sword's doing a little bit of damage here. That's going to be useful. And the demigriff knights are just kind of passing up these chaos stunties. They're not really... They're just kind of playing with their food here a little bit. It's almost like they're stuck on the Chaos Stunties. May try and put down a charge on these Marauders with Grey Weapons. Makes sense. Might as well put a charge on these guys, get them out of the fight. Should do them in. Oh, look at the Terror come in here. Chaos Warriors with Grey Weapons. Get terrored. Warriors with Grey Weapons. Warriors with Grey Weapons. Whatever happened to the Chosen? Marauders with Grey Weapons. Chosen with Grey Weapons back here. Of course, they can be charged by the uh, the General of the Empire, and I don't know how well they're going to survive that. There is still the Halberd unit, but he managed to keep his cannon alive all this time, and that's going to be a constant threat. The Chaos player could try and take his Death Sorcerer that way. So here, the General of the Empire going to get a little piece of the Chosen. May try for a terror route, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Yeah, it will! Because he attacked him in the front and the back, he got the terror route. So now these spearmen can do away with the chosen with great weapon. So the weaknesses of chaos start to become very apparent here in the late game. 
terror. You would think that the army that terrorizes the old world with the threat of apocalypse would be the one that wasn't so prone to terror. <laughs> but they are. <laughs> Chaos is extremely prone to terror. I don't know why it is. It's not like the leadership value. Are, are the, uh, I mean, are the base leadership values on their units really that trash? Or is it just because you can stack up the effects, kick the terror in, and since they don't have any immunity to it, they just get wrecked? So a few great swords left. General of the Empire is going to come in. Most likely you're going to see another terror out. Because whenever he rear charges, the, uh, yep, there's the terror. So successful again. The Empire General should be able to do the same thing here. As long as he's using his units to kind of surround, the terror effect should kick in. Because there'll be too much for that unit to handle. So, And any moment now. Yep, there it is, terrified. So now he's just got to do the same thing to the uh, warriors with halberds. Fix them with the spears. Swing around the, the demigriff knights. Swing around the general. Wrap this up. He's still got the hammer of witches if he really needs it. He could try and get over here and mount the artillery piece. And he may need it. Some of these chaos units came back from routing. He's going to have to cycle the uh, general of the empire around. And the great swords go ahead and give up the ghost here. There's just some spearmen left. He definitely needs something to fix this um, this warrior with halberd. He's going to chase down the chaos warriors here. He should, because if those guys come back, it's going to be problematic. He's going to ignore the halberd for now and get rid of these units. You can see the chosen came back. Great sword comes back and then routes and shatters. The artillery uh, just still keeping its safe distance here in case it gets its opportunity. They're really biding their time. And the uh, General of the Empire and the Demigriff Knights doing their best to chase out all of these routing units so that they don't regroup and overwhelm them. That makes sense. Spearman came back from routing. There's another Spearman way out here that he can pull back in. So I think the Empire has the tools they need to get this done. The Chaos player definitely does not want to let the Hammer of Witches get back to its artillery piece. Which location-wise is here. So it's possible they could. Ooh, Demigriff Knight's coming in. There's going to be a lot of halberds nearby. Okay, Demigriff Knights are going to leave. Did the Jade Wizard survive? I don't see him. So the Jade Wizard must have gotten caught by the Death Sorcerer at some point, And the Death Sorcerer is gone as well. So I must have missed that earlier. So there is no healing for the Empire. This is going to actually end up being a very tight finish. The Chaos player is aware that the Hammer of Witches... Oh, and it routes. Chaos not out of this yet. These warriors with halberds may... may do it for him. There's only a few demigriffs left. So the General of the Empire has to kill 67 warriors with halberds. It's not going to be easy. Going to terror out the uh, Chosen. Ooh, this damage is going to be a little bit gruesome. He needs to get out of there fast. Yeah, look at the damage start to stack up. Those warriors with halberds. Woo, just chewing through him. They did a lot of damage. That's like 400 hit points worth of damage. Demigriff Knights look like they're going to try and hunt down these warriors with great weapons. And they are just wavering because they are barely alive. This might stabilize them temporarily. They've shattered that unit. <laughs> the warriors with halberds just looking for a target. That's what they need. So the general of the empire is probably going to come kill the chosen again. If these guys route again, I and I don't think terror routes count towards a shatter. Because three routes usually shatter, but I don't think a terror route counts. I think they have to legit route. There they go. So they're going to shatter. And the Demigriff Knights routed after completing their, their mission. So now you've got a Hammer of Witches crew. A Spearman. The Hammer of Witches crew... Relatively near its artillery piece. Warriors with Halberds are going to go after the Spearman. And a quick rear charge from the General of the Empire. Their leadership is decent. If it gets low enough though, the Terror Route could kick in. The Demigriff Knights came back. This could be the clutch. 
This could be the clutch. The, the General of the Empire is staying in combat while the Spears are there. He's down to 600 hit points. Here comes the Demigriff Knights. The Empire player is just going all in. It's costing him a ton of hit points. But he's hoping to break the leadership of these Knights with Halberds. The Hammer of Witches remounts its guns. But the General of the Empire is wavering. The power bar is the only thing keeping the Empire in this right now. And it's almost back down to even. Here comes the Warriors with Halberds. They're going to turn around. But they're going to take a point blank hit. The Demigriff Knights route again. And the General of the Empire is just right on the edge. Let's see if they get another shot in here. Ooh, another point blank hit. So the artillery shot, the charge from behind. Ooh, it hit their leadership. The terror on this, this may be, oh. <laughs> you know that Chaos player is mad right now. You know he's mad. What an epic finish. Whoo, man. That battle was literally like a hair from going the other direction. Like, so close from going the other direction. <laughs> wow, that was close. What a battle. So, rightest, well done. That was, that, was, that was fun, man. Well, fun Chaos Army. Hero of Rome. Fun Empire Army. Thank you both. That was entertaining. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Tell me what you think of this. If you want to see more battles, make sure to subscribe. I will be back soon with more Total War Warhammer 2. I'm going to keep working with the Empire a little bit. And these people sent me the Empire replays here. You don't have to send me Empire. I'm open to anything. But I, I thought that was an interesting interesting play by the Empire there. Going so risky with just really trash infantry. But having decent support units. And somehow being to pull it out in the end. That was... It was impressive. So, fun game for both players. I will see you soon. Air of Carthage, out.